So now we're inducing anaesthetic here. So we use the induction agent propofol. Um, so I'm just going to give that to him now. Um, and then we will place his ET tube. So when you place the ET tube, um, it's always useful to have someone to give you a hand. Um, so Anya is going to hold him in position here. Um, a useful tip if you are by yourself is to hold it in a position like this and your thumb in like that so that you can manage to it yourself. Sometimes you might have to do that in an emergency situation, but Anya has it held up here nicely. So we pull out the tongue and then we look for the epiglottis. So we want to expose the epiglottis, which I have here, and we find um, the laryngeal folds, which we have there, and you pass your tube nice and gently down. So that's perfect for Kobe now. We have that placed. So this will make it safe. We can give him oxygen um, and his anesthetic to keep him um, comfortable. So we're just tying it in place now and Anya's going to connect him now and attach him to the oxygen and our gas anesthetic. So gas anesthetic is amazing because we can control his level of anesthetic with a turn of a dial. So if he is a little bit light, we can turn it and give him a little bit more. And if he's a little bit deep, we can do the same thing. We can turn it um, down and just give him oxygen. So he's really safe. Um, so next step is to get myself prepared now for surgery. <laughs> Um, we also give um, the dogs an anti-inflammatory injection um, as a painkiller and an antibiotic as well. <laughs>